Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Mumbly. Hopefully, you're having a fantastic day. Today, we're going to tell you how to make coins and how to be as efficient as possible while doing the 82 to 88 upgrade, the 82 plus double upgrade, and the 83 plus double upgrade. So, if you do enjoy, feel free to smack the like button, subscribe if you're new. Let's get right into it. Now, I'm going to go through each requirement to kind of show you what players are going to be best to trade with, which ones are going to rise the most. Here we have the 82 to the 88 upgrades. You only need four, um, seven gold players, minimum of 45 chem, and number of players in the squad, 11. So potentially you can see a rise in non-rare golds uh, with how many golds there are on the market that are non-rare. Um, a lot of leagues might not see too much of an increase, but if you bid on a lot of cards, you can then maybe put for a lazy listing, buy now and sell. For example, um, I would say probably Liga MX is the greatest one to do it with. I'll kind of show you real quick. Um, another thing too, I'll, I'll show you this in a second as well. I've been bidding on tons and tons and tons of rare golds to get ready for these next couple days. And I'm going to sell these on. I think I have a million coins worth for a lot of coins. So here, we're going to go to gold. We're going to go to Liga MX because they have a lot of rare non-rare players we're gonna go to 400 buy now and see what's at currently so within five minutes of it going out you can see that there's still some cards it looks like it's a lot of goalkeepers and low rated what i would do is i would do max price 300 and try to bid 300 on as many of these guys as you can slowly as people do these upgrade packs and see you know am i getting good stuff out of the 82 to 88s they're gonna slowly have these go up and up in price Again, they're going to get resupplied to the point where it's not going to go up crazy in price, but you can make a couple hundred coins on most of these guys if you know who to bid on. So that's going to be the first tip for that. Second tip, if you are going to want to make sure you do these as efficiently as possible, you're going to want to be using the upgrades. Now, I haven't checked to see if they came out with it yet. I'm guessing they'll come out with it tomorrow. Here you have the three common gold players pack that you can get from the silver upgrade. Highly recommend you do these. Um, every single week in the past, we've seen them come out with an upgraded version of this where you get four common golds instead. Um, that typically comes on Tuesdays. So if that's the case, Tuesdays would be the best time to just get these non-rare golds. Um, now, the thing is with that, you can do that if you're trying to save coins and be as efficient as possible. But it's to the point where this is kind of the last hurrah we have for FIFA. I have over 5 million coins. It's going to be over 6 million coins. I'm trying to basically double that throughout this weekend. I'm just going to start making packs and making packs because we're at a point where there's nothing really left to get excited about until FIFA 21 now. Sure, they can throw random SVCs out. They can put random cards in, um, random events. Like I think it was last year they had it where every single card was basically out and you could potentially pack it which was absolutely insane. It was fun, but like the hype of FIFA was gone. So the 82 to 88 upgrade, that kind of explains it right there. Um, the cards you do get from this, from a grinding standpoint, you can then put into the 82 plus double upgrade and 83 plus double upgrade. So if you're thinking to yourself, you know, what's the point of doing the 82 to 88? I can't pack anyone really good. This is where you do it. You do that 11 times, boom, you put them in here and you got basically a free 82 plus double upgrade. Um, and you only need 45 chem for this. So if you want to bid on gold cards that are anywhere from 80 overall to, I would say, like 83, um, those are going to relatively go up in price. I have a lot of cards that are going to be in the 82 range that I've been bidding on. Not even for that fact, but I've just been doing it with Serie A League One. They happen to be low price. Those are probably going to shoot up, so I'm going to hold on to them for now and see, you know, what does that price actually go to. And then for the 83 plus double upgrade, because I'm guessing this is going to be very similar, an 83 minimum rating, which isn't much of an upgrade in terms of the last one, but the chances of you packing something really good out of these, I want to see people's luck because this is going to be guaranteed board, but the chances of getting some insane pulls could be relatively high. Now you only need 60 team chemistry. And if you are grinding league SBCs during this time, you put a league SBC card in, you basically can put whatever players you want for the rest. You should get that 83 um, rating. So I'm super excited to see where this goes. You have a Team of the Season so far challenge. I think that's new as well. Um, team of the Week upgrades been here. You have eight more days to do it. So if you want to put it in that, you can. 
Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else to really grind. There's this Denis Yundav card. Um, I can make a video on cheapest solution for him. Let's just take a look. I think he's German third division. So I don't know how they got this card. Um, I kind of wonder what the new... Did they show what the new team of the team of the season is? One sec, guys. Uh, I tried to go on the loading screen. It wasn't doing a good job. So it's looking like um, team of the season so far. Looks like it's a random. It's around the world. So it's a bunch of just random players from around the world. Okay. So they can basically throw out anyone. And I'm curious to see how hard it is to pack these guys throughout the course of the week. It's going to be interesting. I'm, I'm unlisted right now, so I've not really been opening packs. But I'm probably going to say, you know what? I'm going to take my profit. If I can't bid on any cards anymore, if it's getting hard to do what I've been doing, I might just start making packs and selling on. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy it, feel free to smack the like button. Just for giggles, shits and giggles, let's see if I have any 82 rateds in here and see how much they went up. I don't think that's going to be the case. Let's do the 81s. Have the 81s risen in price yet? Especially goalkeepers from a good league. I'm seeing 2K, 1.7, 1.4. Okay, so you can still get some bids on these guys. Probably within the next hour or so, they'll go up um, and it might be harder to win them. But I'm going to just basically mass bid for the remainder of uh, the day today. And yeah, I don't really know what else to do. I guess from a grinding perspective, sorry, I'm going to keep this going. Because um, I just think of more and more stuff as I'm going. You have all these cards that are here for the rest of the game. So all the player so that you wanted to do. Now would be the time to start completing some of their teams. So, for example, let's do Continuo. Let's say you wanted to do Continuo. He has an 85 raid team, 86 raid team, 86, 87. Every single one of these teams can be completed through the 82 to the 88 upgrade. Think about it that way. The amount of 88s, A7s, A6, A5, A4s that you could potentially get from that one player, 82 to 88. You could constantly do that until you have this completed. And remember, you only need seven golds. The rest you can throw in random bronzes, random silvers. Uh... Chances are silvers and bronzes might be going up in price too. I'm not going to add that to this video because I don't know the extent of that. But I'm just going to kind of go through right now. You have Mertens, Coutinho. You have Boateng. You have Sandra, Ramos. You have so many different cards. Hazard, Sane. That if you ever wanted them, now might be the time to do it. Vidal, Agbana. There, there's tons and tons of options. Um, like we talked about, there was the new player from the German... Division 3 that you could get done too. There's a ton of stuff you can do. I think now would be the best time. If there's ever a time to get them all completed. I don't know exactly for me if I'm going to be able to do them all. Looks like we got a new card in here too. Danish Delight. Brazilian Brilliance. Alright, those don't look too bad. I might do him because he's Brazilian. Uh, do they show us the skill moves or weak foot? I don't think they do. No objective cards. So, content is definitely not dead yet. I would say within the next week or so, it really depends on how much EA wants to upgrade stuff, um, where we're going to get into the predicament of what we want to grind. So, put in perspective of my first owner, we're still first owner. I I've said this every video, and I kind of want your guys' feedback too, so feel free to comment down below. If we do not pack Ben Yadder or Mbappe, do we take our coins and basically just buy whoever we want and make whatever team we want? Because right now, this team is fantastic. Um, the only player, not necessarily holding me back, but Sanchez on that right cam spot, he does good. He's just not that fast, so I sub him out by halftime. Besides that, the team's amazing. And when he is in, he does great. So my kind of question moving forward is what do we want to do with the team? If there's any more upgrades we can make, I want to put Ramos in. But after that, it's like, okay, what more can we do? If, if there's nothing more first owner we can do, I kind of want to just start making random teams, trading high end, and just kind of going all out with our coins. So if you did enjoy the video, feel free to smack the like button, subscribe if you're new. We're hitting the 10 minute mark, so I will stop it right here. 
thank you guys again for all your support. The goal is throughout, excuse me, throughout June to have another month of almost an upload every single day. I say almost every single day because we've been doing it every day, but you know, you never know what could happen. So I'm going to try my best to complete that. With that being said, it's been your boy Mumbly. I'll see you next video. Peace.